The greatest thing that you can have and receive it of life is the Lord Jesus. Amen. Is the Holy Ghost. Is life with the Lord. Amen. Young people, life with the Lord is better. Amen. Older people, life with the Lord is better. There's a lot of things that they put in your presence and say, you want to be like this person, want to have this. But remember, all is better. Ain't nothing you got gonna keep you here. Amen. You don't have enough of nothing Amen. that will keep you here. But the thing that can save you while you is here is our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. What he said. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God hath given the riches. A man to whom who gave it to him? God hath given the riches. See, God give us everything we have. So why shouldn't we want to serve God in this life? We get ourselves all carried away with a lot of things. We all do. The scripture teaches me that that which is wanting cannot be numbered. We always want something. It's somebody, something, it's something probably everybody in here want right now. It's something you want. But remember, that which you want is vanity. It's not going to last. It's empty. It's futile. It's short-lived. Is that right? So it's nothing we should put above the Lord. Amen. We should always be able to want to put God first in everything in the things that we do. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You, everybody, Amen. all of us. So if you get your mansion, you, you can't stay there through eternity because the Lord said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Amen. He said, my father's house. There are many Many men. Yes. And then that mansion will be eternal. Yes. I don't care what mansion you get down here. It's nothing you have in your possession right now will last forever. Amen. Nothing. Amen. So why should we put anything? Always acknowledge God in all your ways. Yes. Knowing that life is short. Yes. God, I want to live where I can please you, where I can do your will. Because yes. don't you want to be saved? Amen. Sure, most everybody you want to be saved. Yeah. I mean, you can get a house, you can get this, you can get a wife, you can get children, you know all that. But still, vanity and vexation of spirit. Yeah. The greatest thing you can have in this life, and you should desire, is to have Jesus in your life. Amen. And want to do the things that is pleasing him. Walking in the spirit, doing what he said. All this other stuff, it's short lived, it's vanity. Here the day is going on. What Colossians say here? Colossians 3 and verse 1 and 2. Let's hear it, my beloved. If ye then be risen with Christ. What should you do? Seek those things which are above. Do what? Seek those things which are above. If you be risen with Christ, I know, you know, I know we seek a lot of things. I mean, we are natural people, and there are things that we desire. But the thing is, I'm saying, what's over everything that we can desire in this flesh is the Lord Jesus. Is having God in our life. Because whatever we have, it can soon be gone. Yeah. It can soon be gone. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. What's eternal here? Nothing. The only thing that's eternal here is what we have within us, and that's the eternal spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. Everything else. It's here today going to go on today. That's right. So that's why we shouldn't put our fill all our hope in. Stuff that I, it's all right to have things, and nothing, but remember, it's empty, it's futile, and it's short lived. Amen. Amen. Read the book. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Seek the things that's where above. Young people seek the Holy Ghost. Amen. Old people seek the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need it before you leave Him. You need to seek. We seek God for every, we seek for everything else. Right. We seek for home. We seek for a good job. Amen. We seek for this. Don't Amen. seek the Lord. Amen. Take as our theme for this year is draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. Amen. Cleanse your hands. He send them and purify your heart. You don't mind. It's time for us to seek the Lord. Put our mind, our desire.
time in the se praying, seeking the Lord. We need, we need that. We put a lot of effort in a lot of things, don't we? Yes. But how much effort do we put in seeking the Lord? That's what we want to put effort in. Because everything else, you know, I work, you work, we all, we all work. You know, we all work, we all work. Hey, I can't, I can't, I can't keep on working. Because I've been working a long time. But I, one thing I know and realize that because I give God the praise for giving me strength to work. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that's above the Lord. If God had to take care of me all these years, I wouldn't have been able to do what I've done. That's all the praise and glory to God. Huh? But out of everything, my son and I was talking, <laughs> he asked me a good question. He said, what is, Daddy, what, what is it that you want in life? What is out of everything that you have, what is it you want? And I was asking about that the other day. I said, did I have an answer that question? He said, no, you didn't answer. I don't answer questions so quickly. I think about stuff when I answer some questions. And as I thought about it, I was thinking about it. I said, you know, really, the, the thing that I want more out of life than anything is to be saved. That's it. Mm -hmm. Out of anything, out of everything, the most that I want out of life, this life, I want to miss hell. Mm -hmm. I want to be saved. When I wake up again, mm -hmm. I want to wake up to eternal life, not to eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. That's, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. I just like do what God wants me to do. Mm -hmm. Is that right? May not have met the church, may I have this. But I have God in my life. Yeah. And I want to do what's right while I have life. Yeah. While I have a chance. That's, that's the greatest thing I want out of life. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And once you get God in your life, God will bless you with everything else. Amen. God will bless you. Don't you know God is our Father? Yeah. Don't you know a natural good Father will look after his children yeah. and his wife? Yeah. Or not, just naturally. Yeah. A good dad going to make sure that the children may not have everything they want, but he ain't going to have to go like it if he can have it. Yeah. Yeah. You may not have the best house as somebody else living somewhere else, but you got a couple over here and you got you, you can eat. Amen. Well, if a natural dad would do that, Amen. what would our heavenly father do to them that serve him? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. It's best to serve God. Yes, it it's a lot of stuff that goes around here, a lot of fashion, a lot of all this. Young people get away from that. Think about the Lord. Because yeah. none of us have long to be Him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I am 15. Okay. So what? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I am yeah. 25. Okay. Big deal. Yeah. Life still is short. Yes, it is. Yeah. One thing I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, seek God. Yes. Seek him, seek him, seek him. Call him, call on him, call on him. Put the phone down, put all that down. Turn it off and call. Take time to call on Jesus yes. and to seek him. Take time to do that. Because everything else is futile. Mm -hmm. It's short-lived. Right. When you see God, you know what you're seeking? Eternal life. Yeah. When you get things around here in this life, you just seeking things that's gonna be here for a day and gone. It can be here a day and gone today. Yeah. God is the greatest. Yes, He is. God is the greatest. What you say, Rick? If you then be risen with Christ. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. If, what did he say do? Seek those things which are above. Seek those things which are above. Amen. So if you're seeking the things which are above, you're going to seek righteousness. You're going to walk in the spirit. You want to do what God say do. Yes. When you're seeking the thing, you're going to do what's right. Yes. Sarah, you're going to do whatever God would, would please. You know, it's kind of like doing whatever please. You know, one scripture say, Jesus said, I do always those things that please him. Yes. Amen. That's, that's a beautiful statement. Yes. Yes. No, man said, man, I do. If a, if a man told another man that some man would 
probably look at it funny or whatever. But imagine me, I do always something that please my wife. You try to talk, you can't please that woman and everything. I'm just telling you what I do. Mm -hmm. Imagine me, I do all, I do everything to please my wife. A woman might say, I do everything to please my husband. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, yeah. they, whatever, whatever the situation is, they do whatever it takes to please. Yeah. So we as a people, our life should be where we live the life to please the Lord. I know things come up. Yeah. Natural things come up. Because yeah. the scripture says, when I want to do good, who's present? Yeah. <clears throat> I want to do good, but they're going to eat, but he's right there too. Yeah. Yeah. You see, evil work on our flesh. Yeah. God work with us in our spirit yeah. to bring our flesh under subjection. Yeah. But evil is always present. Yeah. Is that right? But always strive to do those things to please God. Yeah. Is that right? In your conversation, in what you wear, what you put on, what you say, what you watch, where you go. Always. Because you can't say everywhere you go, everything you do, everything you put on is pleasing to God. Amen. Because some things we just be pleasing to lose. It look good to me. Ask God, look, it look good to God in the world. What, what does his word say about it? That's how we have to live. That's why he said, if any man come after me, say, let him deny who? Take up what? And then do what? Amen. But you got to take up the cross. Amen. So if you take up the cross, something happened on the cross. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. There was death. On the cross. Then God said, take it up. There's a lot of things we got to die to. A lot of things. We got to learn to die to. Can't get so caught up in this world. That way he said, if he did be risen with Christ, didn't he say so? See, those things are well, which are above. But we have a tendency as human beings. We seek those things that die. We get more reverence and honor and we strive to seek those things. And, well, listen, well, I'm not saying that you can't seek for your house, seek for your job, seek those things, but nothing is above God. Amen. Amen. After he done bless you with that, because he'll bless you. See, the Lord will bless you with everything. Yes. The earth is the Lord's. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Amen. So God will bless you, kid. God will bless you with it. And he'll show you how to act with it. Yes. Show you what to do with it. Yes. Is that right? Amen. You still want to acknowledge God in your ways and how He bless you. He bless you with a job. You make money. Then you say, I'm going to bless God back. I'm going to pay my tithe and all. Amen. You can't be God giving. Amen. Some people frown at that. Amen. You frown at that. Amen. I ain't paying that preacher now. You ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't nobody there paying me. Who paying me? Let me see your hand. Ain't nobody in here paying me just to sound like a real check. Right. I don't get paid like that. I thought it would be nice, but it don't happen. But I thank God for your sacrifices and the things that you do for me when you do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to listen, I thank you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But I can stand up, if I don't get nothing, I got to still stand up and declare the truth. Because I'm going to get paid. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Get paid. Yeah. I'm doing what my father say do. Yeah. You know, Jesus yeah. said like this. I must be about my father's business. Yeah. Like, God will bless me. Listen, I've seen God bless me. Mm -hmm. I've seen how God has blessed me. Yeah. Even from the time I got married to the time having all my wife, having all our nine children, we moving here and doing I've seen God bless me. Yeah. I walked even when I was what well, could not have made it. I was still trying to be faithful. Mm -hmm. Still trying to go with all the children, do what we had to do. But God is blessed. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. God is blessed to the point I've worked on a job long enough, now I'm about to retire. It's like, Praise God. Hey. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Bless me long enough, job. Uh, Brian, I'm getting Social Security, man. Praise God. Like, I would have never thought, I ain't never thought about that kind of stuff. Amen. Amen. But it just, God bless me with health, health and strength. I am. Huh? Bless me with a good wife, 
Bless me with all my children Amen. and my grandchildren. Amen. I ain't got to do nothing just, I just, I just, I'm, I'm at the point I can say what I want and can get it. Praise that, God. I know that's within the means of my children. Amen. I don't worry about it. Got good son-in-law. Man. Praise God. Why? Right, yeah. wow. When we were young, we stayed with the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. She was 19 and I was 21. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We got married. Thank you, Lord. God, We always try to be faithful to God. Amen. We always try to be faithful. Oh, Jesus. That's why I say God will take care of you. Yes. God will yes. take care of you. Yes. You may not get what you want, when you want it, how you want it, but you will get it. Yes. Is that right? Amen. And that's a blessing? Yes, it is. So God came first. Yes. Yeah, God and our life first. She had the Lord and the Holy Ghost. I had the Lord and the Holy Ghost. I ain't look for no other woman. I ain't mess around with nothing. I ain't did nothing. Jesus. Is that right? And I can say that with a clear, 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 clear come. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. Think about it. Hey, you got Think about it clearly throw on me. Get it clear your door, point your finger at me. Praise the Lord. Right, wanna, wanna, first, want to please who? God. If you want to please God, yeah. everything else will work out just right. Yeah. 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 In everything you do. Yeah. And you, you, you don't want to get to the point of you dressing all like the world, but look like because you know the world will pass away. But they say love, not the world. I want to tell my sisters and brothers, young people, you don't have to put on all this and all that. God wants you to look like Him. Amen. You, know, you have to put on all this other extra stuff. Amen. When you seek in the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. A white man put on nothing extra for me to love and be pleased with her. Why? Because I'm pleased with the Lord. The Lord give me somebody I can be pleased with. Amen. 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 I'm just telling you. But the world got you thinking that you got to have all this. Yes. No. All the vanity and vexation yes. of the spirit. That's Remember that. Amen. It's futile. Yes. It's short lived. Yes. And it's empty. Yes. Oh, we have it, but it's, it's nothing you have. Name one thing you got that can keep you here. Amen. You can look, you think about it. I'm getting look. You, you, you go home and let me know Wednesday night or call me up and let me know. Nothing. Ain't that something? Amen. Read the book. He did be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Yes. Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Thank you, Lord. Sitting on the right hand, power, majesty. He's there on the right hand. Yes. Set your affections on things above. Set your desire, young people. Set your desire. Your affection. Yes. What you desire? Set it on the Lord. Old people, set your affection on things above. Yes. 